Hey guys, so for today's episode, we have Andrew Vernon's Legacy GT, and we're gonna be installing some underglow today. Stay tuned. So, we've got, this is sweet, everything's wrapped and everything. We actually have new fenders coming up, but for today's episode, we're gonna be installing some underglow on this. He had an old kit on the car, and it feeds through the firewall right back here. So we're gonna be pulling this old kit out and installing our new kit that we've got right over here. So this kit is called LED Under Car Light you know, Kit, and it's got a whole bunch of LED bars and uh, wires, and then we've got an on and off switch that we're gonna be installing also, because Ryan is an electrical wizard. Yeah, okay, cool. So, we're gonna be coming off of the positive, then coming around in here. We've got a location in here, woo woo, that we're gonna be actually, I know this is all dropped down at the moment, but we're gonna be doing a custom switch right here and that way we're gonna be able to turn it on and off from the inside the car. Go. Are you gonna knock this out? Yep. Go, man. Let's do it. Yes, sir. If your car is lower, like super low, uh, it's gonna be real difficult to get on a lift. Anyway, so the point <laughs> where we're gonna be mounting the underglow to can't touch anywhere where we actually have the lift points on here. Otherwise, we'll never be able to lift this car back up again without damaging it, so. so we're pretty much looking at here to here. Yep, there to there, and then uh, it has a couple LED bars for the front. Andrew was saying that because this bumper comes on and off all the time and he's got quick releases, at, oh, I'm, I'm not trying to give it away, but there is quick releases for this bumper. We're not gonna wanna mount it to the bumper is what he's saying, so I basically said maybe the splash guard under here. Yeah, yeah so probably end up going you know, somewhere around on here, but it's, then there's also, we're gonna have to put it on the back too. It all attaches with Bluetooth and it's super wireless and everything. So it's got a, oh, well, I guess we gotta break it down, but we got all the little connections, the zip ties, whole bunch of wires. Yeah, we're gonna need the power probe for this. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty cool. I have similar lights, you know, you can get them for the back of your TV or anything. It looks like these ones are a lot better for maybe weather conditions because yeah. it's a lot Waterproof. thicker. Yeah. Looks pretty quality. So this itself is seems like it's really great quality, okay? And everything in the kit seems like it's really great quality. The one issue that we find with these is that when people get to the reviews, the reviews say that the Bluetooth never works correctly with the app, which I believe Andrew said that this one is gonna be the same situation. <laughs> but. It's interesting, I guess we're uh, replacing that. So we, he, he gave us this just so that we could use it because, to test out the wires and everything, but he doesn't want us to actually install it. Yeah. But we've got the power probe anyway, so yeah. you'll be able to run and figure out what the positives and the negatives are. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You don't need that. We're just going to wire it straight in. If you didn't mind having this ugly thing that you got to plug in every time, it saves you a whole bunch of wiring. 
Got so to that we to the battery or hook it up to a ground anywhere. You just yeah plug in the kit and plug that in. And but, but then you got this ugly thing sitting there. Exactly. This is Mills Garage Customs, and we are going to be tucking all of the wires. It's going to be virtually just not visible. You're not going to know it's there until he flips the switch, and hopefully his uh, <laughs> hopefully it connects to his Bluetooth. Yeah. So, yeah. So there's an old kit we got to take off. Yes, there is an old kit and it's wired and, and everything. This crazy yeah. thing, but it looks like an old kit, but I don't know where it goes. Well, uh, uh, we there it goes. Mm -hmm. That's what those are. <laughs> oh yeah, we were looking at those at some I point. I couldn't tell what those were. They're so corroded and stuff. So that's probably a good location for us to be using then, for the new one. Yeah, we can put it on the heat. Cool. Just gotta unfeed lines up through here. Gotta get through the back firewall. We're gonna be doing that in the same location that you'd have the brake pedal up through. So, yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, so first we're just uninstalling the old kit. Yep. Yep, yep. So we got the old light kit out and Ryan has some ideas about how we could use this. And got two pretty long ones. Mm-hmm. Four short ones. Yeah. So instructions and the instructions come with this little code right here. This is what's gonna be used to find the app and download it and then connect it up. Got all the measurements right here. With this diagram, you can see, it's got the two in the front, and then the one on the side, it's on the rockers, and then two in the rear also. They're all one piece per side. Yeah. So it's all connected. That's actually uh, not too bad. I kinda like that. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. It's a lot of wire, but tuck that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Should we uh, test it first, see what color it is? Make sure we got the right color? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love when they give you things. They give you these tiniest little wire you can... Like, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> you hook it up to this thing. Clear! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Yo! That's epic. That's white, white works. Yeah. Dude, that is really awesome. Yeah, I can't stare at it. It hurts. <laughs> Alright. Very cool, man. We have power. Yeah. Sweet. Yep. Worst case, if the app doesn't work, at least I'll have white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. That's nice and bright. Mm -hmm. Cool. So now we know that they work. I guess so. Yeah. Separate them into two sides. Okay. And then after we get them up there, we've got these things to work with. We got some little zip ties. We got screws and little fasteners and stuff in here. That's what we're gonna use to mount this all up and make sure it'll stay. So, yep. You said split it up into two? Yep. Okay. Other option to start. Yep, it's all cleaned up, so. Oh, mount 
to do up, well at least in the front on this side, you can see really nice hardware going on. And then we decided to go up around and weave it in through here and then through there and then out that way here in the front. You see we got it all mounted over here also. There in the rear. And then now we're just uh, coming around the back. that that matters but I'm all shaving and stuff yeah right <laughs> and so we've got the wire uh, this line coming up right here we're just gonna ground that real quick and then uh, we will start working on feeding everything through yeah. here and then that's gonna bring us into the footwell area down and then we're going to be putting a switch right here so we've got the switch and uh, the wires. So, just grounding it out first, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Yeah. A nice ground right here, a ground or two. All right. Positive in to the switch, and then the positive from the switch back out here. Okay. And ground the switch in there. Same one. He's already got this wire in through right down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So that'll go right through the firewall. Yep. Now he's got the safety freaking thing. Yeah. Safeties. Yep. So we got some room, and so whoop. That's the one panel. This is the one we're gonna be dremeling out. You see that hole? And all this should just pull down. Whoop. Cool. So we want to do first dremel this out. Let me do that last. Okay. I'm just gonna run the wires through the firewall. Okay. We just ran our positive for the lights themselves. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta run our positive from the battery to the switch. And we already ran the line straight through. So we've got it poking out over here. So we are inside the cabin. Yep. We did our 
red shrink wrap so we know it's for a positive. And this stuff is real cool, you just hit it with the heat gun. switch power okay and then your load mm. is for the lights and then your ground obviously okay yep so cool. the battery will go to the power oh yeah it's all set up there nice and easy just plug everything in cool the light has Sweet. Yep. And then, oh, they're already on. <laughs> cool. Look at that. Yeah. Woo. Sweet, man. Yep. Mm. Turn them off. Turn them on. Cool. Got a rainbow strobe going on down here. Mm hmm. Yep. But all, we have all the options in the world. We'll show you that in a little bit. But wow. Cool, man. Yep. So now it's got to make the, the switch look real pretty in there. Yeah. So. This is just uh, a little bit of drumming and stuff. Oh, super clean. Yeah. Yeah. We did try to put it in up and down, but uh, it fits way better left and right. So, if anyone's gonna comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we got power is the battery. The load is the lights. And ground. Let there be light. <clears throat> Woo! Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then you just tuck that baby back in there. Cool. All right. Yep, so that is installing Underglow at Mills Garage Customs. And if you made it this far, you like the video. So make sure to smash that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe, share with all your friends. We have so much more coming up. So now, I'm gonna close this door over here and then we're gonna take some pans, the car, show you what it looks like all lit up. Yeah, awesome work, buddy. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so Ryan has downloaded and connected to the app. Yep. And so now, Turn her on. Yeah. Cool. I'll take some pants. <laughs> oh, that is, that is fire, man. What? <laughs> you. That's awesome. It works, but it's Huh? You click green and it comes on red. Oh no! <laughs> you click red and it comes on green. 
All right, so you gotta use your eyes. To figure out which one's <laughs> which, but this looks so nice though. Straight up, like, need for speed carbon. I like the look, just a heads up, so I'm not making fun of it. I think it's really cool. Really awesome. Yeah, dude, freaking. Woo. All right, and let's, uh, I'm gonna shut down the lights real quick. Kill the lights? Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Ready? Yep. What? Can't tell the car's there, but wow, that looks, um, that looks cool, man. Ooh. Dude. need to make sure that no one with epilepsy watches the video. <laughs> Shoot. But this looks amazing, wow. Yeah. Looks like it's like water underneath it. Let's see what this looks like from the back. <laughs> Whoa. It's so difficult to see, but I can, all I can see is this contrast with the tips, just like lighting it up. Wow. Yeah. Dude, it really does. It's like a swimming pool with lights in it. Mm-hmm. Woo! Sit here and play with friends. Yeah, right? Whoa, cool! with us over at Import Expo. So, very cool, man. Oh, awesome work, buddy. Woo! <laughs> wow. May I fall? You! Sweet. Mm -hmm. I think a good one to leave it on. Sure, yeah. Solid blue, match the car. Thanks for watching this episode of Mills Garage. Make sure to like and comment below. Share the video. We'll see you next time. Cool. Do another one. Yeah, yeah, let's do another one. I like that idea. Let's do another one. Alright. I'll help if I can turn this switch on too. Yes. Well, alright. <laughs> you got all the options in the world though. <laughs> yes. This is 
Like you, we got it to uh, do like a red, white, and blue. It's got kind of all the options in the world, though. Yeah, that one will definitely get you pulled over. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 